Gun and Dog plays. Another thing about this game is that the save points are literally everywhere. Like, there is so many save spots that it gets annoying, and you start saving at spots where you shouldn't even save. Like, what I did, I saved in the past, which I didn't even need to do. I could have just waited it out. And, uh... Instead, I saved in the past, and now I am saving in the present. <laughs> what the fuck? I totally forgot about that part. Oh. <laughs> I gotta hit that load. So in the present, everything is back to normal. Uh, put together. Uh, th the sand creatures are still here, I don't know why. Um, but in the past, everything is all run down. I think, or, or I have that backwards, I... I don't really remember. Oh! <laughs> that does so much damage. The, uh, the counter-attack... It does a crazy amount of damage. Din-din-din-din. I forgot the dude who did the soundtrack. I forgot his name. But, uh, he was very important to me in my youth. That guy- what the f- What? <laughs> what? But yeah, this dude who made the soundtrack was, uh, a very important figure in my life. During the time of this coming out. Wow, 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 wow. And the opening cutscene, um, like when you start the game, it plays Godsmack, I Stand Alone. And this is another reason why Godsmack is one of my favorite bands of all time. Because that song rules. The Faceless album is my favorite album of theirs of all time. This is where I'm supposed to go, but I'm gonna go up here. There is a health upgrade here. This is probably gonna take me a little bit of time because every single time I've tried to do this at this point, it has been shit. And it's very hard. I gotta turn down my headset, holy balls. So we have to hit this button, uh, side roll, all the way up these stairs, and to get into a little spot. So, we're gonna do it now. Fuck, I- I messed it up, I messed it up, I totally dicked it. Here, get up there. Or just do this. No! Why are you jumping off the wall? Don't get mad. Don't get mad right now. Get, get glad. Come on, Prince. Wall run. No! Stop jumping! I keep doing it. I can get this. I can totally get this. No, do the side roll, you idiot! Why is he jumping off the wall? No, side roll, side roll, side roll, side roll, side roll, side roll! No! I almost had it! No, you stupid fucking... You jars! I fucking made it. Wow, what a G, dude. You see, this is where you get the health upgrades, and there's traps everywhere. Uh, you move the camera. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! Now, don't use the camera like that. Go forward with the camera. What are you talk- What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And those are so much slower, the, the spiked, uh, floors. Thank God those are so much slower because there's a shit ton of different traps in here. Oh, oh, you see? If, if it wasn't slow like that, I probably would have been dicked. Here we go, here's the health upgrade. Now I turn into a demon. Look at me go. So I wonder where this medallion came from. Uh, because it was... The dagger of time. Now you don't have the dagger of time. So how are you still getting these powers? Life upgrade. As the health bar increases, the prince becomes stronger. Yeah. Look at my health now. And then the traps are gone. So on the way back, you don't gotta worry about the traps, which is great. But these are glitched. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm running through the traps. You stupid glitch. You stupid glitch, bitch. All right, now we can go the proper way that we were supposed to. 
now that I got my health upgraded. You don't have to do that right now, at this point in time. Um, it's just something that I do. Because you- it's... I mean, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's, uh, it's there. So for people who have never played this game, I'm gonna show you where all the health upgrades are. And you're gonna like it! Oh, the screaming dudes! Yeah, these guys are cool! They just throw shit at you. What are you looking at? Prince, they're in front of you. Alright, just toss it! Yeah, bye! Don't move. Yeah! I got you, idiot. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need a little bit of help with the collectibles. Because I don't remember where all the collectibles are. Um, I know where most of them are, but, uh... Let's, let's side roll up these steps. I'll show you how to side roll. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh shit, man. Hey guys, come here. I want to show you something. Like this! Yeah! <laughs> That's so cool. You just jump off the wall and do a little spinny and then you're good. You blast fools. And the character, like the enemy designs in this game is perfect. I, I'm gonna be saying that a lot, like, this game is, is absolutely perfection to me. And I, I like the two thrones, don't get me wrong, but I think it's just a little short. Ding, 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 And I do love that soundtrack as well, but I, I love all the Prince of Persia soundtracks, but this one just, uh, gets my feathers ruffled. It makes me wanna... What? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, he- I- I was trying to grapple him. That didn't work. <laughs> I was- <laughs> I was trying to grapple him. Okay, there's a- th here's the key! This is where you change positions of these pillars. And you can get to different places. This is a really cool concept. For this game. I am in love with this game. I'm just, just letting you know. I'm in love with it. <laughs> and it's, it still holds up to this day, like, it's so much fun, the combat, and the different enemy types, and the, the voice lines, everything about it is just, is just really fun. The angst, the teen angst. Look at that, I mean, how, how cool is that? You just spam X and Y. Look at that! That is so badass! God, I... I'm creaming. <laughs> well, when I was in middle school, it was, uh, the end of 8th grade. It was summertime, and, uh, we were going into ninth grade. So, me and my friends, we went to my buddy, uh, Jake's house. We j it was just like a get-together, like a... You know, end of, end of the year get-together for... 8th grade, and we, we were technically graduating 8th grade, so we were like, ah, let's just go over and have a, have a little get-together. So, the little get-together turned into a giant party, and, um, it wasn't even like a party of what you would think. It was a party of fighting. <laughs> so, we got out boxing gloves, MMA gloves, and there was about... 50 people there. A bunch of high schoolers caught wind of this. This kid was in 11th grade. As some kid pulls up on a bike. A last name starts with a G and ends in a, uh, in a rubs. <laughs> That's literally what his last name was. This kid pulls up on this bike and he goes, Hey! Everyone's like, who the fuck is this guy? So he goes, Who wants to grapple? <laughs> I was like, uh, me, I guess. And everyone, because everybody was, like, staring at me. And they were like, oh, John wants to, John wants to. Just because of wrestling and stuff, my wrestling background. And the, the kid probably weighed at least 250. And I weighed about 137 pounds soaking wet at this point in time. So, they start the match. It's in, it's in my friend's backyard, too. Like, it's on the grass. It's hard, hard-ass grass. And 
It just wasn't a very ideal situation for a grappling match. Um, but I did it anyway. So me and this big old fat ass kid lock up. And uh, I, I just had this move in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hit this. So I gave him what is called a moonlight drive. Or a moonlight driver. Um, and that is a, a corkscrew neckbreaker. <laughs> by a wrestler named John Morrison. He's a professional wrestler and he hits this this uh, moonlight driver so beautifully. I basically hit that on this big old fat kid that weighed about two times more than I did. <laughs> it was fucking beautiful. Everybody had their phones out and shit and they, they were all like, oh! <laughs> If I could relive that moment, that would be one moment that I would Absolutely relive. I hate these jumping bitches, by the way. These are the worst enemies in this game. You die, I'm gonna stab you on the ground. What? I just teabagged her! Can't we talk this out? No, we can't talk this out. Shut up! I just teabagged her with my balls in her face. <laughs> there it is. Boom! You see? You see, I ain't stupid. I know what collectibles are. I could have went that way, but it's... don't even... Who cares? Who cares? I still got it. Uh, there are secret weapons if you open up those weapon things. You can get these, uh, secret weapons. They're like question mark weapons. And they last forever. And they're very, very strong. There's- I'm, I'm gonna try to pick up a few. God. Prince, come on, man! Spin! Do a spin! If I go this way... Prince, fucking spin, dude! There we go. My god. Not spin like this, but spin around. <laughs> Jesus. You can probably hear the controller. Uh! Next. I am playing with a controller currently. Because playing this on PC with mouse and keyboard is, uh, very, uh, weird. And there's also a health upgrade here that I gotta come back to later on in the game. Um, it is. The- the amount of going back and shit is kind of annoying. That's probably the worst part about this game. Is the amount of times you have to go back to the same places. And these bitches are annoying too. I- I hate you guys. I don't even know the easiest way to kill them. Like, I just spam tri- uh, uh, triangle. Uh, why? They just There's jump around so like idiots. Dude, we're not fucking. She said there's so much pleasure in pain, but we're not even having sex, dude. Can we talk this? God, dude, I am going to blow a gasket. There we go. That'll do her in. Boom. Yeah, it could split in half. The amount of gore is is to perfection. It is this is my kind of game right here. Games like Splatterhouse, Bloodborne, uh, this game, there's just, it's just so good. Even Manhunt, the amount of gore in Manhunt is perfect for me. I'm a, I'm a horror movie fan, dude. Some of my favorite horror movies are some of the goriest movies of all time. Like, uh, Evil Dead, I love Evil Dead, I love, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Except for, like, the new versions, I guess. Those actually kind of suck penis. Oh, uh, uh, like change it. She, yeah, she's... You. She's, like, borderline trying to fuck me and seduce me. <laughs> I know how to defeat you guys like that, bitch. God, dude. Lady, you make me want to quit and eat McDonald's. So I'm probably gonna do that today anyway, so... <laughs> it's not your fault that I'm a fat bitch. Stand, stand! No! I hate that! You're a bitch! Get out of my face! Yeah, see? You can't even run up them! Cause they do that stupid bullshit! Ah! No! What are you doing? Just stop jumping, please! Yes. Sliced in half! Idiot! Bye, bitches! Oh my god. No! 
Are you kidding me? Come on, I'm gonna romp this wall and stab! Yeah, that works too. Whatever. Take that! I love the slow-mo when they do that. What was that? Prince! Yes. Doc. No! How did she do that? She jumped like six miles away, dude. Yes! Okay, I'm missing everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That worked. Give me that sand tank, I don't even need it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> now I do!